Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I'm going to start a series on body armour penetration tests. So I'm going to try and replicate the Home Office's tests as well as I can. And I'll do tests on various different body armours, cheap eBay body armour, to see whether it really will stop a knife at the actual recommended standards that it's supposed to. Second hand body armour, stuff like that. And at a later date, I'll start testing other homemade materials so we can test out um, chopping boards, HDPE, metal plates, chainmail, stuff like that. So, this will be the first of a series, and I'm going to explain what will be done and how this test will be very similar to the HSODB standards. So, for the Home Office tests, they drop a 1.9 kilogram weight with a blade on it. So I've tried to replicate all of the things that need to be done. So this is the 1.9 kilogram weight that will drop through this tube to the ground and that will produce the amount of joules that you need, the, the energy. So this blade will be the penetrating blade. Now this is the only thing that will be different to the tests because they use an almost Tanto style blade but I thought what I would do, I'd use a more traditional type tip and blade that you would see if someone probably attacked you. It's more likely to be something like that or a kitchen knife type blade. So that's the the blade. That fits in here like that and it has a little bit of give which again the actual real test model has. It has to, it has to have a little bit of give because if you're stabbing your hand isn't completely solid it would give a little bit so there's that this then gets dropped down this tube at a height of four foot three inches so I'll hold I'll take the blade out for now I will hold this in here so that the blade tip will be sitting just there inside the tube when I let go, the 1.9 kilograms dropping at 4 foot 3 produces 24 joules. And this is basically the exact same test the Home Office do, they just do it in a more uh, mechanical way. This is the best way you could do it at home. The one other thing you need to remember is a soft padded surface. The human body is not rock solid, it's not like wood, it's soft, especially the stomach area. So you need to replicate that as well. So this is a padded surface for the armour to go on. All of these things put together should replicate the Home Office standards, I think, very well. As good as you can do at home, I think, with minimal tools and effort and money. So this will be on the floor. I will have two cameras set up because I can't get the whole tube on the camera at one go. So I'll have a second camera on this with the armour. That will be on the floor. Make sure it's all level. So it's level each way, ready to drop the, the weight down. Also, just so you know, I won't be going through this all every single video. I just thought I'd better explain how these tests are done and then at the beginning of each video I just tell people if they want to know how the tests are done in the new videos go back watch the beginning of this one. So the first thing I'll be testing is this knife resistant panel that I've got. This is a KR1 SP1 panel. I know how good this panel is. So this will be our first test material to show that the drop down weight will not go through it. This one's been tested extensively. So I'll just explain one more thing. So 
you know that the height and the weight produces 24 joules. With KR1 tests, the Home Office allows 7mm penetration out the back um, because that would be non fatal anywhere in your torso area that's going to be non fatal 7 millimeters 7 mil and it will still be classed as a success so I've got a little table here so what we'll do we'll write down <coughs> we'll do LBA KR1 panel just there and we'll test this and we'll do a pass and a fail this will be just the initial test to show you what proper body armour can do in the same video I'm going to test something else LBA KR1 panel you can see the other footage at the same time of me about to drop this through we'll hold it at 4 foot 3 from the surface and then drop it And as you can see, that bounced straight off and it's gone straight through. So you should have been able to see there quite well. It just bounced straight off of this. But I'll do a second test. Right, let's drop this down again. Bounced straight off. So the LBA International passes fine. What I'd like to do now in this video is to show you what would happen if you had some body armour that didn't have stab protection in. This is second chance body armour, second hand. This is just a ballistic vest. This will be a good demo of what happens without snap protection. Right, see that? Went straight through. This is the thing that people are unaware with just ballistic vests. They do not stop knives. must have stab protection in a vest. Now that probably would have gone through even further had it not hit the ground. That actually penetrated right through the the um, padded section and then hit the hit the ground basically. So yeah. Have to have stab protection in a vest. Right, we'll call it a day for this video. So you've had two tests, you've seen how good a standard knife resistant one, spike resistant one panel really is. You know, this test just bounces straight off of it with that blade in it. And you've also seen that a level 3A vest will not stop KR1 tests at all. Flew straight through it. And I reckon that would have gone right through to the hilt of the blade had it not hit the floor. So for the next video I'll do the cheap eBay body armour and we'll see how that fares. I hope it in a way I hope it does stop the blade because you know people are buying that for protection. Um yeah. Before I go, if you ever want to support this channel you can and support these projects because they do cost money to make and this this channel's been demonetized. There's a thing called coffee.com, which is basically a donation service where you pay via PayPal. Really simple. You just pay via PayPal, go straight into my PayPal, and it can pay for things like body armour panels, HDPE panels, Kevlar, chainmail, stuff like that, to help do further tests. Alright? See you later. Here's a little video showing how to do it.